this is well welcome back to my channel today's video we are actually going to do a massive cricket unboxing i was sick in the last couple of weeks and of course because i was quarantined i was bored and went on a shopping spree and cricket had a big sale and you know what we do when we're bored as crafters so Let's go and see what goodies I got. All right, so we got a bunch of infusible ink because I want to keep testing the colors that they have and I just wanna have some fun on here. So let's see what colors I got. So one of the things that I got was the Patterns Watercolor Splash. Now I'm probably just gonna open some of the colors because some of these I did get were a little funky and I want you guys to be able to see some of these just so in case you're curious about them. This one is the rose pink. This one I got because I'm going to make a shirt for my daughter's um, competition because she does gymnastics. And when I got it, uh, a different version, a non cricket print, I did not like the pink. Um, let's see. And this one is the patterns, the steel plate. Now this one I will open because I tried this before when I did a blanket and I was kind of curious about it because it was kind of disappointing at first, but I think it was just because I was just weird. So let's see how this one is. I think. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And now with these, I'm supposed to put them back in this black bag. And with um, infusible ink, Let's up manhandle them as minimal as possible. So I think this pattern should be this one up here. And the issue that I had the first time I tried it was, um, I think the red was not what I imagined. And that's the only reason I didn't use it. And it looks like this one, oh, this one was the one that I thought was darker and I didn't like it. But I think this next time around, I'll be more prepared for it. And then there's this red one. So now keep in mind that whatever color you see will darken once you use it. I'll just put this to the side. I'll put it back in later. And then we've got the Patterns Animal Print. These come out extremely pretty. And then we've got Pink Lemonade. I did this one for my daughter once. And it, they are very pretty. Um, let's see if I can open this one really quick too. Let's see. I don't usually do pastels very often, but I'm trying to come out of my comfort zone with these lighter colors. Uh, because I'm not a pretty girly, but we shall see what this year brings. is pretty I like the splotch the splotches that how it is splotches and this looks very ombre all right so we'll definitely make something with that probably for my kiddo put that one over here. now this one is definitely something I want to test out so this one is distress rustic I think this one I might get some coasters and try this color out Let's see what we get out of here. If you guys have used any of these before, comment below and tell me what you think of the infusible inks. Now, the way I've thought about these, if you if because I sublimate, I have a sublimation printer. This was Cricut's version of sublimation because um, design space. Cricut's Design Studio doesn't um, allow you to do sublimation printing from there. So this is your way of being able to sublimate printing if you don't have a sublimation printer. So it gives you the best of both worlds. So let's see. 
So this has four prints in here. Ah, uh, there we go. This would be a pretty print for fall. It's mustard yellow. And this is the Distress Brown. These are pretty. I have plans for this one already. Yes. Okay. And this one is the Black Botanicals. Florals. Florals is not my forte, but I can figure out something to do with this one. I might do something for my pseudo sister. <laughs> and then this one is Retro Ombre. So I'm definitely going to open this one and see what this one brings us. This one should be very pretty. Let's see what we can do. This one I'll probably bring out also during fall season. Or actually during summer. As well as this coming up is this dress grass I have here too. Oh yeah. I like this one. To get all the colors, I would have to put it on the mat going this way so that all the colors can print out. And then we have this pretty blue, sky blue. And it comes in with four. There's two of each sheet. Looks like, and then there's another one. That's my favorite, this red. And then they also come with the parchment paper inside of them, so. Okay, and then bright teal. I love a teal, so I always try to order it whenever I do order anything. And then we've got the Distressed Grassman. So let me open this one. The new, I like. pretty greens I feel I don't work with greens too often and I want to change that that's a nice green and then there's more blues These are pretty. that would look good with um I don't know like a figure that out all right let me go ahead and clean up all this mess and then we'll continue on with the rest of our unboxing. I've cleaned up my mess and now let's talk about Smart Vinyl. All right, so I have a Maker 3 and I've decided to purchase some of the Smart Vinyl. I've only got a small amount because I don't really care for the Smart Vinyl. I'm used to just using regular vinyl and I will be doing a future trial version testing something or the other of another um what's the word smart type vinyl that i have found on the market so that was really the reason why i wanted to do the smart vinyl for you guys anywho then i realized when i just unboxed this that i have this big roll of black vinyl and i really don't know why that i got this big roll of 21 foot is it foot or feet i don't know english is not my first language so again don't mind me i got this big jumbo roll versus just three feet but i guess in hindsight you can never have enough black vinyl so let's see i have what color is this guys this is purple and as a matter of fact i got them all in shimmer i love shimmer vinyl i really do it is the prettiest now i hope 
that inside this, it has um, strong grip, which we'll call it, uh, transfer tape. Because if you watch my other video, I struggled putting this down. <laughs> because we know I have a love, not a love-hate relationship with Cricut, but a love dislike I love something look how pretty this final is and let's see it does this is the day that I love cricket it has strong grip inside of it this is gorgeous it shimmers it shimmers okay. let's put this back in here Actually, I won't because I'm going to take it back out and put it with the rest of my liner. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. And then this one is uh, light blue. I really thought this was teal when I ordered it because I always order teal. It's like my second favorite color besides red. And as a matter of fact, why didn't I order red? this is gorgeous all right um then now i didn't order any of the joy um sizes simply because when the joy first came out i did order um i did purchase actually a bunch of the smart vinyl way back when and I didn't like it and I just simply stopped using it so I still have a whole bunch of it in my stash this one is gold it's actually more yellow than I envisioned um, that's one of the things I've always considered weird with gold it's either too yellow too green too something but it is very pretty so these were the three that I got and I will be using them very very soon I love them like I said I will be doing a test with another vinyl I won't be giving that secret away right now on this video but stay stay tuned like thumbs up and subscribe so that you can see that video whenever I do um, upload it. All right. I'm going to put these up and then we'll go to our next items that I have in this um, haul. All right, guys, last few items. I got this three packs of deluxe paper for my joy. Again, I'll be trying to show my joy some love because again, I keep forgetting all about her. This pack is the adhesive bag nature walk. So again, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with any of this stuff, but I am going to try my very best. Oh, I like this one. Again, I don't usually lean towards floral stuff, but hey, we're gonna try to come out of our, sh our shells. This one's very pretty too. And this one reminds me of very watercolors and this one as well. And these are very nice because they're all coordinated. All right, so let's see what this next pack has. This one is the Black and White Botanicals. This one reminds me of that pack of um, infusible ink that we had earlier. I'm just throwing pack paper around. Look how pretty that one is. This one too. I like this one. Now to get the full um, advantage of this one, it'd probably come out better doing it this way for your machine. And then this one has two whites and two blacks. That's really nice. Now let's see, the last one. This one is Moroccan, Moroccan, Morocco. All right, our joy. 
like um remember those beads from the 70s on the front doors that <laughs> in between rooms that parents used to have that's what this pattern reminds me of that's so cool this is pretty it's um on the camera it might look black but it's actually a navy blue i love a navy blue This is really pretty too. Again, to get the full effect, I'd probably try to turn it somehow, but it, it should work this way too, but I like it this way. And then it's two solids, a blue and a gray. These look really well coordinated together. All right, and then one final item that I did get, I got this basswood. I have not tried to cut any wood on my maker because mostly I've just been too scared and I haven't bought the knife for the deep, I think it's a deep cut blade or something or the other. So I do need to check on that to make sure that I have the proper knife to use it on. So that's going to be one of the things that I will be testing. So I got this just because it should force me to go ahead and try that out. But if you guys have, let me know in the comments um, and tell me how it's worked out, but I definitely wanted to try that out. I love working with wood and I know that Cricut had it on there. It does say use it with the Cricut knife blade. So I'm going to see if I have it already and then definitely look up some, um, templates and try it out. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you for watching the video. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to um, keep up with any of my upcoming videos. Again, thank you. You guys have a great day.